Ow, send my CG033. All right, guys, I got two blue lights on there, and I was able to fire the motors inside after messing with this for some considerable time. Um, so let's see if I could fire, uh, not fire the motors, but actually lift up. Um, I was able to fire the motors inside, which we did here, and yeah, here we go, guys. All right, we're up. I shouldn't have to worry about uh, return home because... I don't have any GPS. I'm just gonna walk down the street here. I'm gonna cross the street. So this thing's very temperamental. I tried what I did today, yesterday inside, because uh, just like a lot of you guys suggested, it's cold out here. Maybe it needs to be warmed up. But we're gonna take this over here. We still have no satellites, which again, I'm not banking on satellites. I kind of want to just fly this in sport mode to see if I'm going to keep it, to see if this is worth me keeping and maybe modding a 5.8 camera on it, seeing how far this will go against this. And again, we're still in the air. We've still not locked onto any satellites, which again, I could care less. I just want to get out to this field so I can fly in sport mode. Um, battery, battery looks good on uh, the drone. We, we didn't fly it yesterday. It was fully charged yesterday. Am I going to tell you guys to stay away from this drone? Absolutely. I mean, because the biggest draw to this drone is all the features, and the features don't work. I mean, right now, I don't have a cell phone hooked up to it, uh, and we're not hooking a cell phone up to it. whole purpose of this is to actually see if it's fly-worthy. If this is going to be sport flyable, where I'm going to throw AIO on it and make this kind of like an explorer bugs. Before we go ahead and take off here, we're going to turn it around. As you can see, it's not holding. Um, altitude hold seems to be holding fairly well. We're just going to bring it towards us. And bam, there's a little look at it. So what I'm going to do is speed medium, medium, high, low, high, medium, high. Now we are in high, high. So we're going to bring this back. We're going to go forward. So it is. I think that's all this thing's worth. Um, so if you can get this, if you can get this drone for under $100, maybe say $80, and you don't care about the GPS on it, and you just want a brushless flyer that's foldable, that kind of looks cool, I think that's where this is going to be at. Look, there's a cat. There's a cat right down there. There's a cat in the middle of the road there. And it's watching this. <laughs> we'll go over here. I don't really want to scare it, but we'll fly by it. It is. It's intently watching it. That's pretty cool. Really the first time I've seen a cat out here. So again, we have zero satellites. I'm going to try to punch directly up. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> we have no punch up. The punch up is nil to none. This is the old Al Senma trick with the CG035 is going up and it would gather satellites. Um, this thing's not gathering satellites and has like no punch upwards. Uh, flyability though, uh, as far as your lateral punching, left, right, forward, backwards is pretty strong. Guys, if you're not a part of Drone Days, check out Drone Days. It's on Facebook. Link will be down below. Um, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I'm not linking this. <laughs> I'm not linking this drone because I don't want uh, impulse buy. Wow, that really flew well for J Drone and somebody else buying it. And they can't even get it off the ground like I, I couldn't yesterday. Um, so definitely, uh, definitely not linking this. It's a nice sport flyer. Um, in the sense that it's an altitude brushless drone, but in that juncture for the price we, We've been getting bugs twos which do a lot more than this for a lot less your Hubson uh, 501s you can get those pretty cheap 120 and change. I think right now. I'm letting off the sticks there Wow, we're locked on the five satellites. We're locked finally we are locked on the five satellites and I kind of wanted to shoot up It's moving so the satellite has not locked um 
satellite itch is not locked. We're just going to go ahead and buzz this around here and kind of show you it. Uh, yaw rate, yaw rate's pretty docile. I'm going to bring it this way. So now that we're locked onto some satellites here, meow, um, let's see here, five. We're locked onto five satellites. It's probably not going to do anything, but this should be this should be dual GPS. It should be communicating with the controller. So I'm going to click uh, follow me. I'm holding follow me. Follow me is doing nothing. It's going wait for me. We're going to come back. I'm going to click orbit. Holding orbit, it's doing nothing. So the features on this don't work. Um, the camera on this is pretty junky. This is about all that it's going to be worth for me. And I think in this juncture, if I can always get it off of the ground, unlike yesterday, um, I think uh, woo, it might be worth just that for me. And we're getting beeping. I, I got a... I got a What's it going to try to land? I got a blue LED there, um, which I don't know what that means. Um, we're still only locked on a five satellites, zero. I don't know why it's beeping. It's showing my TX and my RX fully charged. Let's see. Um, just about fully charged, or I guess the battery meter is not going to move down. Maybe that is, uh, maybe that's the drone. fly towards myself and the motors will cut off and I'll smack myself in the head. <laughs> this was an unplanned flight. I was actually going into my drone room to clean it up a little and I figured, well, I couldn't get this to work at all yesterday. I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to give it another shot and uh, kind of happy I did. I'm happy about this, but again, I'm not suggesting you, f you buy this at all. <laughs> Damn. Like, I didn't even tell my wife I was leaving the house. <laughs> like, as soon as I fired the motors in the drone room and pressed the throttle up and they didn't shut down, I ran outside like a little kid. Like, it's time to go. But it's fairly sporty. It's fairly sporty. We don't have punch upwards. Um, our telemetry, obviously we don't have telemetry that's ranging in properly because uh, GPS satellites never lock on us. Whoa, oh, oh, bam. <laughs> Kill motors, kill motors. It's too busy looking at the telemetry. I hit the tree. Where's the drone? I hit this tree. Drone should be right here. Where's the drone? I don't see the drone, it disappeared. I hit this tree, dude. It was that tree. I'm pretty sure it was this tree. Like I ran right to the tree. Hmm, I don't got my cell phone on me to, uh, it's not still in the tree, is it? What the heck? I might have to go back and watch the video and see what happened. Cause I should have been able to see it. This is weird. It had to have fell. Like it didn't just hit and go up, I don't think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it dropped. It's pretty dark out here. I should be able to see some type of LED action. What? I don't got my cell phone on me to connect to the app. Huh. Where'd it go? Like, really? It hit this tree. I mean, we'll go check by this tree. I'm pretty sure it hit this tree. Maybe I'm wrong. It disappeared guys just when I started to uh, kind of take a mild liking to it for general flyability it disappeared dude that's unreal what? 
neighbor who walks his dog. There, bam, right there. Just about stepped on it. I was gonna say, so it uh oh, and it broke. Really, it broke. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so how'd it break? I'm gonna see. I'm just gonna eyeball this, see if I'm gonna be able to fix it. But uh really? A mild hit to that small tree and it broke. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't know. I'm gonna try to eyeball this as far as this goes. Uh, looks like um hmm. looks like it might be fixable, I don't know. Um that sucks. It kind of sucks because this would pivot down. This pivots down. So, what's this do? Just cap on here. Looking, looking, looking. I might be able to fix it. It kind of looks like the inside broke a little bit. But we'll take this back and we'll see if we can fix it. But, uh, just hanging out here with the outside. What happened was uh, the hole is basically stripped. So underneath here, I have kind of like a little patch to kind of simulate it grabbing something. Um, let's see, we're going to turn this on first. And turn this on. And then we're just going to down and out. And it's up. So that definitely worked. Um, it's not going to be foldable anymore, but it worked. I think I might even put a little bit of glue on it. Those LED indicators are low voltage. I know that because uh, I was just out here, I sat it down. It's it's pretty stable. Um, we're not locked on any GPS or anything. But uh, I temporarily fixed it for now. I think I'm just gonna throw a little Gorilla Glue on it. And that's all this is gonna be. It's gonna be a brushless sport flyer hopefully this has good range um that's probably what that is that's probably lvc saying hey um you need to bring the drone down um that little led there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to grab it no one just hold down there we go guys i'm j drone again i really don't suggest anybody getting this drone but uh, if you did get it, maybe you can uh, get some joy out of it being a sport flyer. Don't hit nothing. Because, um, again, I don't know if you, how well you can see. It's pretty dark out here. The screw scripts the hole, and I had to have, I, I put something over top of it, then I, almost like a rubber piece, something. That way it's grabbing. And uh, it is still slightly movable, but I'm not going to try to fold it. So uh, one arm will be unfoldable. All right, guys, just to show you what I did here, you can see this side. Um, the screw has a little little outer lip to it that it actually holds down on top of this arm. The arm's hollow on the inside. There's a little prong that comes out that fits in the hollow part that this screw goes into that, out to that, into the back of the arm. Um, what got stripped was what this screw's lip sits on. So what I've done over here is I've filled the hole with uh, Gorilla Glue. And then we've taken two pieces, like right here. This is something that you'd almost use as a washer for screws that you actually thread through a piece of rubber and kind of went over it. And it's holding really nicely. Um, so I, I don't think I'm going to be able to fold it. I don't think I'm going to be able to let you chance. I don't think I'm going to chance folding it. This is just going to be the way it is because for the most part, this is a junk drone. Um, the camera doesn't work. Uh, not that not that it doesn't work. It's not worth working. Um, garbage garbage uh, frame rate. It skips. It gets jello, and that was prior to the crash, so I can imagine jello is worse. Um, follow me doesn't work. Fixed point circling doesn't work. Most satellites I think I've locked onto with six, and it doesn't hold its position. So obviously return home won't work. Um, LVC, we do get an LVC warning on the controller, which is a little blue light. Uh, this will start rapid flashing. But like yesterday, it, it was determined not to fly yesterday. No matter what I did, and even after the video yesterday, I came in here and tried what I did today. It would not start. Today, all I did, I powered it on. Um, I calibrated it. 
and fired the motors and then went to throttle up and I heard it throttle it was going to throttle up so I didn't even shut it off I ran outside and did the video that you just watched um, and then uh, the, after the crash and after the fix when I took it outside the nighttime part that you've already seen uh, I didn't even calibrate it I just turned on the controller turned on this and took off so it, it doesn't even need to be calibrated doesn't need to be hooked to a cell phone but it's going to be temperamental when it wants to so it'll be a nice addition to the to the drone look um the only good that i'm gonna get out of this is putting an all-in-one camera on it and hoping that controller has epic range guys i'm jay drone please subscribe thumbs up uh questions comments concerns let me know don't buy this drone if you do buy this drone you're probably gonna break it you're probably gonna get mad at it you're probably not going to uh have any of the features work later